Mr. T, um, Jenny B, some few uh, months back, connecting to God's blessings through godliness. Praise God. Connecting to God's blessing, how to be blessed in a genuine way or serving the Lord and also receiving his blessings after you being dedicated to him. Can I hear your loudest amen? There, there's one particular scripture in the Bible that in all angles I can quote this scripture for many, many, many times. Look at me, every one of you, because the scripture contains a lot of revelation. Praise God. And it says that all things work together. All things. Look at me, every one of you. He said, everything work together to them that love God. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. He said that all things, things work together. Things work together. And the Bible did not say certain things. The Bible says that all things work together to them that love God. And hear me very careful. The Bible did not say to them that go to church. The Bible did not say that to them that preach. To them that have a title. I'm talking to somebody here. To them that member of church executive. Praise God. To them that are pioneers of the church. But the Bible said that to them that love God. Because you know what? It is one thing to preach. It is one thing to sing in the church. It is one thing to be an usher in the church. It is one thing to be an executive member of a church. It is one thing to be a pioneer of a church. It is one thing to be a founder of a church. And it is another thing to love God. <laughs> Can I hear all others? Amen. It is one thing to have all the title. You are the next archbishop of town. It is one thing to have a very big title and well known preacher. And it is another thing to love God. Praise God. Loving God is a different matter. It, it's a different game altogether. There are many of you sitting down here hearing the sound of my, my voice that the, you have, you have the, there is a reason why you are here. Praise God. Praise God. There is a reason why you are here. But you know the Bible says that we should seek, we should seek first the kingdom the kingdom, now hear me very careful. The Bible says we should seek the kingdom of God and eat righteousness first. So let me tell you something. In all your services to God, what? There is something that must become your priority. Praise God. And God and the principles of the kingdom of God must be your priority. Praise God. You may be here because maybe you need a healing. And you want God to heal you. Things are not going well in your life. And you want God to bring a change. That is okay. There is nothing wrong with that. I strongly believe, sir. So be a problem, my baby. Yes, I'll call for solution is the house of God. I'm talking to somebody here. Praise God. When Jesus taught his disciples that when you pray, say, give us these days our daily bread. I'm talking to somebody here. Give us these days. Our... So I strongly believe that our daily provisions come from above. Lift your right hand. Let me hear all others. Amen. Our daily provision, including the food we eat and the clothes we wear, come from above. Praise God. Our God is a great provider. And he continues to provide our need. 
Praise God. But she let me tell you something. In all your services to God, your needs are not the priority. Your needs. When we shall hear, we are some, we are going to some, unshira, uye die, unpeja. It's not the priority. Let me tell you something. Nyanko pon se wuni ni pon puni mpua wangu adi odi kan shushe first e yo onuni interest. Praise God. Ebre nyanko pon bo Adam in the Garden of Eden. E nyanko pon deni tra Garden of Eden na nyame katre Adam se on si na nemu na on di hine nu na oni hine e mo nu Adam interest na odi hine me nyanko pon interest. It is my In all your services to God and in your quest to be blessed and to be lifted up, let God's interest be number one. I strongly believe. Look at me very careful. One of the reasons why the end time church lack power. The end time church lack power. And the end time church cannot be blessed and, uh, and, and miracles and divine provisions have been little in the church is because our priorities are wrong well let me talk to somebody here can I allow that amen that is the reason why and what say we call obia sorry now we call compass our pastor that you wish that your pastor also go in this direction. No! Obia was specific assignment and a particular thing that God wants that person to do. I'm talking to somebody here. Can I allow this? Amen. Let me tell you that as I'm standing here, eh, never compare me to any pastor. Don't compare me to any man of God because my assignment is different from that man of God. <laughs> Lift your right hand, let me hear a loudest amen. Lift your right hand, let me hear a loudest amen. So maybe you go to church, you see, let me tell you something. You go to church and, 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 and your pastor is going in this direction and you wish that he, you wish, that is your wish. That is your wish that your pastor also go in this direction. One day you come to church and can you imagine? I have a chair, I have a, I have a chair here and I'm sitting on the chair and I'm sharing lotto number and everybody come and then I'm gonna give you lotto number. There are many of you that wish that one day you come to church and by the time you come here, I'm here and I'm giving lotto number. My assignment and your lotto number is an assignment. <laughs> Lift the right hand, let me hear a loud amen. amen. Lift the right hand, let me hear a loud amen. amen. My assignment, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, let me define my assignment. My assignment is to help you to know God and to know Him well and get much closer to Him and you become a vessel in His hand. of God and I strongly believe that every believer should not struggle to be blessed let me tell you something the Bible said that the earth is the Lord and the fullness therein if the earth is the Lord and all the blessing in this world belongs to God and that this God is my father I don't need to beg him for it I'm talking to somebody here I don't need to beg him for it all I want to do is to follow his instruction and to do what he wants me to do and to claim my portion of the blessings. <laughs> Lift your right hand, let me hear a loud amen. Because you know what? Every blessings of God. 
to every blessings, to every blessings that God wants you to receive, there are conditions. There are conditions. As I was with Moses in the book of Joshua chapter 1, so will I be with you. Praise God. Send me Moses in Nancy, you know, Sana Menu Benanti, Bebia, we do Nambis Bia, made the Wabedi, made the Wabecho. Praise God. Baby, I do not be Sibia, made the Wabecho, Baby, I do not be Sibia, made the Wabecho, a beer with Japadia. Yakupo read the promises of Shabuni and Nose, but this book of the law should not depart. Praise God. So to every blessings and every provisions, there are conditions. If you, if you fail to meet the conditions, you miss the blessings. I'm talking to somebody here. I'm talking to somebody here. Huh? Read it. This book of the law should not depart from out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein by day and night. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For, for then, for, praise God, for then when you have able to pass the test and fulfill all the condition, then, then, praise God, then thou shalt make that way prosperous and then thou shalt have a good success so prosperity and success hallelujah hallelujah prosperity divine prosperity now i'm not talking about just prosperity i'm talking about divine prosperity and i'm talking about i'm not talking about ordinary success i'm talking about good success i'm talking about good success divine prosperity and good success goes with conditions. Can you please lift your right hand? Let me hear a lot of amen. Say it again. Say it again. No, I'm talking about prosperity, but I'm not talking about the prosperity of the world. I'm talking about success, but I'm talking about the Bible definition of success. Mama kasi mitio, ya wongro fobi wa sevi asima omu klemu se omu dini yesi obiya. There is one one politician in Ghana here. I always disagree with him. One politician in this nation. Whenever I listen to him, I become very angry. Because you know what? To him, to succeed, and he said, That is false. Because you know what? Say, Sika, and Kwani Adia, and many Penya, and Yen is your sin will be our Yasima. Wouldn't that we get any part? Because only maybe, and yes, Sika, and Shishini part. You are the most poorest person in this world. Because you know what? Let me tell you good success. Is when you are able to discover, discover your assignment, a particular thing that God wants you to do, and be able to fulfill your assignment, and your entire life become beneficiary to everyone that come closer to you. That is success. I'm not talking about nyame beye nyame beye so some of you are so confused looking at my face nyame beye ochiri besi uye no 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 I'm not talking about that kind of besi uye I'm talking about deina nyame pese uye mami kasi bintiro nyanko pa onfani nishira mo ubi ya keke odi isi odi nishira ma wanga eshe ne kwansu fasu 
Oma Moses who na kwa in Psalm 103 verse 7. Oma Moses who yadi abeni. Oh who na kwa in. Oma Israel for whom ni nyuma. Adibi e nyako pompeshe. Odi mau bi odi wo fa kwa in biso. Se wo inti mi an fa sa kwa in swa. Baby your person odi udunu unru hoda. I'm preaching good. I'm preaching good. I'm preaching good. Let me tell you something. Say we you be bukata. I can't cast him and I say can't cast me. Cast him bukata. So be at here. We yet the type of we are four one nine. You always use the smartness of your mind to cheat people and put money into your pocket. You are not blessed. You see, you don't have God approval to this kind of blessings. We are corrupt. We are corrupt. We are drug dealer. We are the type that you lack by biting, setting confusion among people and getting something out of it. And to that you think you are rich. God does not acknowledge the type of being of riches. But I'm praying to God. I'm praying to God that there's somebody here that by genuine way and the right path that leads to prosperity, you will know the path and walk in it and receive the blessing that the Bible promised. Lift your two hands and shout the loudest. Amen. Give God a mighty clap of it. Look at my face and let me tell you something. There is no shortcut anyway. There is no shortcut anyway. There is no shortcut. If anyone is giving you a teachings, teachings and preachings, telling you there are shortcuts, there is no shortcuts in the kingdom of God. The book of the law, this book of the law, this book of the law, this book of the law should not depart out of your life. So the right path to your destination is to be godly. Now let me come back to the preaching. Let me come back to the preaching. Quote the same scripture again. All things work together to everyone that loves God. And I call according to his purpose. Things work together to everyone that loves God. Do I have a someone that loves God? Praise God. Let, let's, let's, I define, I define godliness the other time. A man that is godly as a person that has God at heart. Praise God. Nyankopon interest become your priority. Nyami interest in all your doing. Sometimes you have to pause and then ask yourself. That's what I do sometimes. Sometimes I pause and ask, am I doing well as a preacher? As a founder of a church? Am I doing well? what I am doing am I making impact praise God First, and then the question is, will be a bit sad. And I love the way every one of you is very quiet looking at my face. Jesus said, When you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven so sometimes i will 
show bishop say san na mon we ya mi to ye is that the will of god i do we ya be ya mi di ai is that the will am i talking to somebody at all is that the will is that the plans of god for my life praise god it is yes one day whatever praise god getting closer to fulfill and to do the reason why that God sent him and looking at how he will be crucified and everyone was about to beat him and do all kinds of things tears him apart speak at his face and Jesus looking at all those things the shame the pain and the agony he wanted to change his mind he wanted to change his mind. He wanted to change his mind. So he went to the garden to pray. Say Radi, say be to me ya. Me kru wenye di ebeni. In chami hunko because eni mbi asi ene be dosu. O se ene be dosu. O how ene be dosu. But in yami, me di niyama mi nu wey si ho. Say in your interest. Say 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 me budi ya. Say 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 me nu kui asi dia. Say 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 ni pasir me dia. Say 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 ni papo me matia. Let your will be done. So sometimes, in God's interest, for God's interest to be fulfilled, you have to pass through the shame. I'm telling you, I said you have to pass through the shame. So, my maker said to you, say you go yes when you must say one day, once upon a time in your life, you will be passed through that kind of shame. You will be disgraced. I'm talking to somebody here. I'm talking, you see, that is the other side of the gospel that we will not preach. In this end time, the other side of the gospel, the, the, the baptism of suffering type of preaching. You understand what I'm talking about? Preachers don't preach. We talk about prosperity without talking about passing through the same. But you see, once upon a time in your life, everybody forgot about you. Once upon a time in your life, you will be rejected. Blessed are you when men shall revile you, persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you for my sake. Rejoice and be glad. No, I'm preaching good. I'm preaching good. One day, for the purposes of this kingdom, Nipa be good anymore, sir. Nipa be can want some. Nipa be tete. Not because why you're born you. It's because Uchina man yet any. Okay, say you boy Jesus Christ to achieve my because why you're born you. Because Uchina man ten any. Am I talking to somebody at all? Uchina man no kure. Uchina man odo. Uchina man minu mi enua di ayeye. So he was rejected. Hallelujah. He was beaten. Hallelujah. They stripped him naked. They put a, a, a tons of, of whatever they call it upon his head. He was rejected by men. Even the creator of the universe could not behold what his begotten son was passing through it. But today, the same Jesus is at the right hand of the father. Give the Lord another clap of it. Do it better. Okay, my maker said, "Mitchell, message I you preach about your dream, Koshua, and you monyam say, 'Ni ni na yo.' But say I need balance. Now you preach the only one side of the gospel we have problem." Praise God. Pakata ni Timothy. Nyame sumpa. Enya sori ko. O Kenya me sumpa ho asem tire ni ba. Nyame sumpa. I appeal you. Let me tell you, sometimes if you are to walk, if at work you wake up in the morning and you there's no there's no petrol in your car 
and you have to walk from long distance to this place. Do it to please God. I don't like the way you are just looking at my face and you will not respond. Am I talking? Hallelujah. You wake up in the morning, you don't have anything in your pocket and you still have to come here, clap your hands, dance and praise God. Hallelujah. And give him glory. You got to be here and tell God you are not serving him because of money. You are not serving him because of wife. You are not serving him not because of husband. You are not serving him not because of silver. You want to serve him for who he is. Yes, you say. Or may you do an fafa. Or may you. What do one no fafa? Enemy ye my ye. Now so one come my dear yeah, dear bay. And come. Some years back there was a lady that came to this that wanted to travel. She wanted to travel. And she never came to church. Everybody approach it to me. She come with tears. Praise God. And for Baya, three weeks to one month, when you see car, or my sorry. So one day, your bar sorry, I did praise is in China Mua, or fear Chiri Hop. She was the first person who did Rika fear Chiri Hop. I realized something has happened. I realize because me who is harder, me in case I knew, eh yeah. But you see, so we come as we be sad, dear, near, dear, dear, kaya. So nyame nyame dear, nyame nyame kese dear. Then you have a problem. Let me tell you, whether you are married or not, God is still great. <laughs> whether you have a good job or not he's still a great God whether you have a child or not he's still a great God whether you have been healed or not he's still a great God whether you have been anointed or not he's still a great God let me tell you something what separates the ordinary Christian? You see, the Bible said that many are called but few are chosen. So in terms of spirituality, in terms of maturity, in terms of faith, and in terms of how our heaven recognizes it, we are not the same. Praise God. Oh, so for I am pa, I am pa. God give more grace to the humble. Read it from your Bible. Is it on the Bible? He give more grace. It means say the grace upon you and the grace upon you, they are not the same. How come? How come? How come? The same grace, but will be the air there by S will be. Am I preaching good? It is a minimum. It depends on your love for him. Praise God. Your love for him. Your love. Your love for God. Draw nigh to me and I will draw nigh to you. Read it, it's in the Bible. Praise God. Draw nigh. Draw nigh. And I will draw nigh. Who bang me? I may bang you. May you feel the presence of God in your life like never before. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. The right path to your destination is to, is to be much closer to God serve him well and be dedicated to him like never before
We are that in the fastest way. Can I hear others say amen? So, there's a difference between, there's a difference between ordinary believers. Ordinary believers. I'm telling you, we be me up a sorry be ne ni pe guwa bomba ye di pale dosu. But we're more interested in na yonge bi shadi e. And your problem oh, I like the way I share my news because it look like me preachi asema hope. Psalm four verse three. Somebody read it for me very quickly. Psalm four verse three. Start it again. Start it again. But no time. Now look at the board. He said, but know that the Lord He didn't say your pastor. He said the Lord. The Lord has set apart not him that go to church. Not him that preach. <laughs> Can I hear your Lord say amen? Him that is godly for himself. So I said the other, other day that if God become your priority, if God become your priority, you will also become his property or priority. If you are much, much mindful of the kingdom of God, God will also be mindful of you. While you are sleeping, he will fight your battles for you. While you are sleeping, he will claim the blessing for you. I'm talking to somebody here. While you are sleeping, he will fight your enemies for you. I see God taking care of your life. I see God being mindful of you. Because you are also being mindful of God. Say yes. Give God a mighty clap of it. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. What's it? Because provisions. Yes, what you will wear and where you will sleep will not be your problem. No, 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 no I'm preaching good. Huh? The car you will drive, the mansion you are believing him for. Rakudi Bayaba. How to pay your rent will not be your problem. And while you are sleeping, he will make things to happen on your behalf. Come and lift your voice and shout yes. I'm telling you. Yes. No, am I preaching? Am I preaching? Whom you are going to marry, who is supposed to come to you and tell you I love you. Let him take care of those things. Praise God. But he will only take care of those things when he becomes your priority. God alone, the kingdom alone, how to be part of this church. And make this church the preferred one. This is 
my church. Praise God. And the kingdom becomes your priority. And you are to build this church. And you are sleeping. And you are thinking of the church. And you are thinking of God's business. Praise God. One day, Jesus Christ, a CFO, after working for many days, came to me and said, I then I won't pay me any day. And he said, don't you know, I am at my father's business. Praise God. I am at my father's business. I am at my father's business. When you take care of God's business, he will take care of your business as well. I'm giving you a secret. I'm giving every one of you a secret. Take care of God's business and God will take care of your business. Now I'm giving you a shortcut. That this year you will never struggle. You will not. You, I say you will not. I said you will not struggle. You won't pass. You will not pray certain prayers. But hey, an unexpected breakthrough will be released into your life. Be on your feet and shout the loudest "Amen" three times. something if you are to be if you are to be Daniel let the scripture remain if you are to be Daniel and you have the opportunity God bless you everyone that swears it God bless you you have the opportunity you see let me tell you something in sorry I, I walk far ahead of modern this charismatic church is that most of those churches are much much mindful of the kingdom I'm telling you I'm telling you I'm telling you one 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 of the one of the preachers in this nation that I respect so much one preacher I love and respect so much in this nation in a charismatic movement is Bishop Dagi Wamos I just respect you see let me tell you something You cannot predict him to preach the kind of preaching that you want him to preach. One man of God, that you will invite him at your miracle service and he will preach John 3.16. Because we need to be 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 Sometimes we, we, we deceive ourselves thinking that it is our spiritual gift. I'm a prophet. And I've been prophesied since ancient of days. And not talking about just prophecy for fans. Prophecy with evidence and testimonies. Most of the people I prophesied and I tell them what to happen and after they have received they will leave you and they will never remind you. They remember, remember there was a man that prophesied and tell me this thing was going to happen and it has happened. So I'm being balanced. I'm growing so I have to be balanced. But giving people prophecy should not be my priority. I love the way you are looking at me, Pa. This was a prayer too. But know that the Lord has set apart. Set apart him that is godly for himself. <laughs> May God set you apart. This year, there will be difference between those that are godly. <laughs> those that love God. Those that want to carry their cross. 
I'm talking to somebody here. Those that want to pay the price for the kingdom. Those that want to follow God, whether good or bad. <laughs> there will be separation between those that are coming to receive just a miracle and those that here yeah, that want to be genuinely born again and make it to heaven and also make great impact on this earth. May God set you apart. I said, may God set you apart. I said, may God set you apart. Lift your two hands and shout aloud this amen. No, I'm I'm, no, 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 no. I'm preaching good. I'm preaching well. I know you have a need. I know you want to marry. I know you want to travel. I know you want a visa. I want you want a child. But hey, him that is godly is different from just coming to church. Everyone that is godly, that has God at heart, is different from people that God go to church. You see, when when I became when 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 I wanted to become a pastor, that and a young man, and maybe I may get it closer to this young man. That want to be pastors, eh? I listen to them, and I never me say something is wrong with them. All they talk about is suit. They talk about shoe. They talk about car. They talk about being in a nice house. But I know you didn't become a pastor because of a car. Because you know what? God is capable of giving you the best car in this world if you are much dedicated to Him. No, no, I love cars. Oh. Don't get me wrong. I love cars. I love Range Rover. Shit. I will find a way. But you know what? I am God's chaser. I am chasing God more than the Range Rover. Because you know what? You are always a servant to whatever that is your priority. And whatever becomes your priority first, you are that can become like your God. Become like a god to you, and if you priority, be become your god. Please, and if you are your and you your priority, become your god. <laughs> Let me stop here. Let me stop. Let me stop. Adibia priority be become your God. A man of God came to me and said, Man of God, I want to be highly anointed. I love the way you will sing and, 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 and the hand of God moves. What is the secret? And I said, Secret. Tell me you have a secret. And I said, Just love God with your heart. And you see, the anointing is not in the microphone. The anointing is not in the keyboard. The anointing is not in being in a nice auditorium. The anointing depends on how much you are giving your heart to God. Obi says, for how? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew chapter 5. Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are those who are hunger and thirst for righteousness and they shall be filled. And yet how eloquent the background of your family. God has no respect to those things. God is much, much interested 
with what goes on in your heart. Look at this scripture. Look at this scripture. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 9. Hebrew chapter 1 verse 9. Maybe. 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 Hebrew chapter 1 and the verse 9. Verse 9. Thou hast loved righteousness. Look at it. Read it. One to go. Shall we read it? One to go. Thou hast loved righteousness. Uh huh. And hated iniquity. Iniquity. Therefore, God. Therefore, God. God. Even thy God. Even thy God. Has anointed has thee. Anointed thee. With the oil of gladness. With what? The oil of gladness. With what? The oil of gladness. Oil what? what? Gladness. Gladness. Above thy fellows. Above thy fellows. So look at me. Don't deceive yourself. Spiritually, we are not the same. Materially, we are not the same. In the archives of God, we are not the same. Am I preaching at all? Because God has anointed thee with oil of gladness above thy fellows. So, what's the foundation here? What, what are the fundamentals here? To be anointed above thy fellows. What are the fundamentals? What are the fundamentals here? The fundamentals has to do with what you love. What you give your heart to. What you have given your innermost being to. to a certain a certain man of god a friend of mine was having this was having this uh, revival and whenever i go there he'll be on a, he'll be at the office sleeping and the young pastors and and i'll ask him he said what is wrong with you and he said my head is aching me and i'm saying and i'm saying so you can't preach one Madame Fushofubi, maybe or a Nigerian pastor. Tamo or one Nigeria, I don't know, or Taipei City Bishop Oye the Post Church. Kinan Lang was a man of God. Let me tell you something. Maybe a papa see now sorry than you. To drive from town to that place, it will take you two and a half hours. And it's a man of God. Or the total on over 50,000. By the time a bebo. Six o'clock in the morning, fifty thousand auditorium is full. The majority here. By the time it was six a.m., fifty thousand auditorium full. And it means that, or maybe you are driving from from town to that place to maybe. Suhum, suhum echi, unko ko, getting closer to Kumasi. And early morning, it is our so sorry time being, or dry time being, or see, let me tell you something. Say, you miss you when you even if you are to be, if you, you have to start your journey from 4 a.m., Mamika Bincho, Yamasumba Sabas and Emmy Unyam Yenu Yamu. A yet demon be a yen yum be a yet so and time you disturb demons. Yamamunio Mokakra Yam Fat Shuronia Hopopo, and yet young and Cassa young Quanti Hueljuma. Mamma Musemi. Hear what David said in the book of Psalm 63, verse 1 and 3. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Let me preach it part two. 
the second service. We never be apart. You can still wait. If you love God. <laughs> Lift your right and say, I love you, God. Sorry fee a wolf woman or sorry fee a wolf woman. Now, the Namponeswa, Lucia's young phone, and they had a lot of fishes. In Jomupa, in Sunin Chamber, be no more to two nam and your budo. And Peter was very happy. This man is bad, man. Is bad for good. To turn on fishes, tilapia. What's that? We can tilapia. Say ni amu me che 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 che. And over two 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 I. I am more seven thirty, eight thirty. Now over tilapia. But next week, next week is a communion service. Yeah, but yeah, tilapia communion service. <laughs> Oh. Come on. Are you happy to be at church? Yes. Or why not? No, no, Peter, why? Yes. She put a new sir. No, Peter. Do you love me more than this? Say, yes, master, I love you. Yeah, let me tell you something. We are being in him alone. Our love for God must be our priority. How many of you love God? Mama kasi minti o. Our real nobe worry be. Akwen tu nobe tu be. Sika nobe nye be. Eda nobe si be. But ni ame kani me ni ame interest in your first. Many I mean fast tracking for any man in fair mouth. Me see, me more dying home by a dad. Ask this man, how many times she wait for no man? Omo preacher pastor, me empty half plot man. Na yenye two bedrooms. I laugh. I just laugh. No, 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 no. I don't want in a state a sorry back as you omu no musi dai ma me. Number two, near yimi, yet me dinye megwa, number two, let me go come near the new. And I was me fear sorry down way mu. Ever start to see me see a sorry down way. And God was looking at my motive and my action. One day he just touched somebody's heart to buy me five bedroom house. Eti, a fear me to me to me a cast. Eti me says me bo say nyame ne de mame. Yes. You also say oka amen three times and nyame surprise so. Yes. I have come to I have come to where we use church offering to pay people school fees and my own children will be sacked from school it has happened many times yeah I'm not saying for anything I'm telling you I am here for God's business Eti mi ube di mechi ni wadju ni yu sika, sika, sika na ope. Sika na, spend the time with God. Naka chen so umye kwa ima, non fa kwa imbi so. Eme sika ni mra. So, omunse simu anu mudia. Now, yes, it's what you know what happened. 
Oh boy. Do you love me more than this? Second time. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Peter, I'm so not in Kenny. Chief, chief. Eighty years to change a gun in a low do one in Hanu and Bissano. Peter, the cousin also for our lady. The third time, a bit. Even so, we had you. I read the battle of Ambony Chevy. Third time, Peter, white lapia niti. When you don't pay me a few, not the same. No, boo pan, no, not the same. I used to stand up and tell me, hey, Piero. Piero. Do you love me more than. And Peter realized that the question go beyond what he thinks. Because you know what? When I was about to crucify it, and I needed you the most, you rejected me. When I was about to kill, you swear that you didn't know me anyway. When everybody has run away, and I needed your intervention, so, the question go beyond so there are many of us claim we love God, but a ministry to prove her. We don't prove it. I told you, I won't. Mama, catch me. I told you, I won't. You're breaking my heart. Christians, Christians, the way I'm confused, so my boss won't want me. I will sit here and find Pablo Amaha in this hard day we, and Kohano mo Friday. Men yes is Saturday for the job at the in Abra. But come to the house of God. Who preach you can hear you? Who preach you? No, bitty baby, no, yo. I really cheap. Then a nasty, then a shoe, then a funnel, then a sea hooning, then a pump and mapa. Me a juma we mayacho, ya minsha our daughter. Mayache. Tibi picha, tibi show we nimsi ya ni me huni uutrim ni na. Nti na tibi ban me jam si ni au juma mi hundi ya onso sa. Do you love me more than this? And Peter, now change the tone. He changed the tone. He looked at Jesus' face and realized that Jesus meant something. But you know what? We must love him not because of what he has given to us. Not because we are eating the tilapia. Not because we are driving the car. Not because you are best husband, you are best wife. Is capable of making you to become epitome of his blessing. Epitome. Obi of Eba will change me. I will not lack the blessing. And I will make you a blessing. That's what he said to Abraham. Overflow. Will you continue to serve him? Or you will change your attitude? Come to church, look at us. Here. Think, say, yeah, yeah. In Krasophobia, Abishia. And while we are clapping, you you just you just put a ching up in your in your mouth and look at us and then what crown like this? What crown like this? Because see, see, when you have what you say, when you have what you say, 
When you are say, What can I body shame? Are you too? Are you too? Are you too? Maybe I'm just saying, I'm a film. But young, I ain't living, I ain't the end, you ain't crossing for. Can I ask you a question? Do you love him more than this? Let me tell you something. He is the giver of this thing that you are holding. The car you are driving belongs to him. The money in your bank account you do feel, you do feel heaven about it. Not one damn encounter. Whatever you have is from him. Therefore, you must love him more than everything that you have acquired.